Is that cool? Yeah, I'm good. Right. Hey, what's going on? I'm okay, Hey, what's Beer. up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Bobby. 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 Yeah, yeah, for certainly. Um, I'm a lot of things, man. It's really tough to put into like to words because as an artist, I'm like, I do everything like in terms of art. But like, what my strong suits are is uh, audio engineering and like I'm, I'm a music producer. So I'm really, I'm really big on the sound of the audio, like you know how it, how the overall experience is. I love making music. Um, I do a lot of spoken word too. So. Poetry, music, and then just like the manipulation of sound is kind of my strong suit, man. Uh, behind the music, man. Behind the music, man, Kanye West for sure. Just like the fearlessness is really what it is. Like the, the approach to music. It's just like nothing is not approachable. Like if Ye wants to do it, he'll do it. You know what I'm saying? So I want to take that approach. But of course, like with things that work for my style of music. But, but really, like I like that fearlessness. It's just like, yo, I'm going to go out. I'm gonna put out this art and I'm gonna move the culture and people are gonna like it, people are not gonna like it, but they're gonna be moved by it most importantly. So yeah, bro, yeah. Can you explain to them what this is right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a, it's a, it's a drum machine in a sense, but it's produced by a native instrument. So it's called machine. And basically it allows you to program sounds and kits and stuff like that, yeah. manipulate things, no repeat. So it's really a controller in a sense that allows you to manipulate samples. Yeah, 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 certainly, certainly, man. Like, uh, people use a lot of different things. Like, you know, something like this may have really good kick sounds, really good snares, and then they'll go to like Fruity Loops or FL Studio and get like other things and kind of piece their compositions together based on the strong suit of different instruments. So they may not use this for everything, but like, you're like, Yo, there's a dope ass kick in here that I need, or man, there's this synth that I hit. So, or if you even want to like put your own samples in here, you can cut them up. So if you got a record or a vinyl, you can cut up samples to pretty much be on, you know, any channel and just lock them in that way. If I want a sample here, I put it there. You know what I'm saying? So it's really versatile in that sense. You know what I'm saying? How long does it take to process a song to make a beat? To make a beat, it varies. Like, um, I guess the dopeness of it is really gonna be what takes it the longest. Like, cause I can cook up a beat and like. 15 minutes you know and it doesn't sound like tight but like it may take me a whole year or six months or two months to make it like all right i'm good with it like you know because i can make a beat and i'll be in the studio with an artist and then they'll be like yo this is this done i don't need i don't, you don't need to do nothing else to it i'm ready to hop on it but for me at least i'm like yo i gotta do this i gotta change this or you know i need to sleep on it and wake up with a different approach or something like that so it varies but like 15 minutes to an hour you know what i'm saying to get something decent out but I would love to like expand on it, you know, later on and shit. So how do you feel about a lot of these artists making music so fast? Like you got future makes an album every month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If they fan base is eating it up, like it's a supply and demand. So if it's a demand for what if it's a demand for what you have, then you can supply it and I don't got a problem with it. But if it ain't no demand for you and you just dropping stuff, like it ain't beneficial to your career at all because um, I can't say like you gotta be strategic or you gotta you gotta drop gems or you gotta do it the old way, you gotta have a rollout, you gotta have a couple singles, a couple videos before you drop an album. It's really like yay. You can do whatever. It's that fearlessness. So they can do whatever they want. But if it's not a demand for the for their work, it's just gonna look a little funny, or it's just gonna seem a little too forced. So I mean, Future definitely got a demand for his, his work. You know what I'm saying? So I know that ain't going that ain't changing. The culture fucks with him, so it's working. But the moment that demand shifts, you know, he should shift that. You know how much he's releasing to kind of match that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm on social media as Dom Root. Just basically, I got Instagram, but I have a collective. So it's about eight different artists from painters, other producers, uh, vocalists, models, etc. And uh, we form a group called I Am Root Co. So it's a collective of artists. We put on shows and events in Los Angeles and Phoenix um, just to basically bring the upcoming arts culture out and get people involved and create that web of network to where nobody is really like not working. You know what I'm saying? Because people are like, yo, I don't know who to work with or I'm trying to collab and I don't really got nobody to collab with. Well, our environment is in place to kind of eradicate those excuses. Because like it's producers, it's these people. So it's like at the end of the day, if you really want to get work done, 
You can just pick up the phone and we can make it happen. You know, it may not be like what you want or whatever, but it's like getting work done. It's about those repetitions. You know, that's how people get better if they put in the work and they get it.